Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to unlock the bootloader for any Motorola device. Whether you're rocking a Moto Edge, Moto G series, Moto Fusion, or even a Moto Razr, this step-by-step -step guide is perfect for you. But before we begin, a quick disclaimer, unlocking the bootloader will wipe all your data and void your warranty. So back up anything you care about and proceed at your own risk. All right, step one, we need to prepare your Motorola phone by enabling developer options. So grab your Moto device and head over to the settings app. Scroll all the way down and tap on about phone. Here, find the build number and tap on it seven times until you see a message saying, you are now a developer. Once done, head back to the main settings menu, then tap on system. Here, you'll find the new option called developer options. Scroll further down and enable OEM unlocking. This is the key to allowing your bootloader to be unlocked. Once OEM is enabled, scroll down a bit more and enable USB debugging. This lets your PC communicate with your phone using ADB commands. Now that everything's ready on the phone side, plug it into your PC using a USB cable. Step two, let's move to your PC and set up the tools we need. On your computer, open any browser and head to the Motorola support website. I'll drop the link in the description below. Download the official Motorola USB drivers for your operating system. While that's downloading, we'll also need ADB and fastboot tools. Go to the official site, links in the description, scroll down and grab the platform tools package for your system. Once both files are downloaded, first install the Motorola drivers. The installation is easy, just keep pressing next and you're done. Once the drivers are installed, go ahead and extract the platform tools the zip file. Now, open the platform tools folder, which contains the ADB and fastboot executable files. To open the command prompt in this folder, simply click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and hit enter. Now let's move forward. Let's make sure your phone and PC are connected. In the command prompt, type ADB devices and press enter. This command checks if your phone is properly connected. Once you hit enter, you'll see a prompt on your phone asking to allow USB debugging. Just tap allow to grant access. Run the ADB devices command again. And yes, this time we got the serial number, which means the device is connected. Now type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your phone will restart and boot into fast boot mode. Give it a moment, you'll see the fast boot logo. And that's when we move to the next step. Once the device is in fast boot mode, it's time for the step three, getting your device ID. So in the terminal, run this command, fast boot, OEM get unlock data. Once you hit enter, you'll see a bunch of text lines pop up, each starting with bootloader. Carefully copy all those lines and paste them into notepad. Next, delete the word bootloader from each line, then join all the lines into one long line. Make sure there are no spaces between the text. That's your unlock code. Now copy the code you just created and head over to the official Motorola bootloader unlock website. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you're on the website, first sign in with your Motorola account or create one if you don't have one yet. You can even sign in using your Google account for convenience. Once you're logged in, scroll down to the text box, paste in that unlock data string you just copied. Next, click the button that says, can my device be unlocked? If the device ID is correct and your device can be unlocked, you should see the button Request Unlock Key. Once you see that, click on it. First, agree to the terms and then click on the button to request the Unlock Key. After that, Motorola will send you a 20-character Unlock Key to the email you're logged in with. This typically arrives within a few minutes, but sometimes it may take a few days. Awesome! Now that I've got the email with the Unlock Key, here it is. This is my unique unlock code. I'll go ahead and copy it and paste it into Notepad. Now, here's the command to unlock the bootloader. Fastboot OEM unlock unique key. Right here, just replace with the actual unlock code you got in the email. Now, copy this command and go back to the command prompt. Make sure you're in the platform tools folder and also double check that your phone is connected in fastboot mode. 
And yes, here is the serial number, confirming that the device is connected in fastboot mode. Now, it's time for step 4, unlocking the bootloader. Simply paste the OEM unlock command you copied earlier with your unlock key and hit enter. Your device will show a warning screen like this to confirm the unlock. Just use the down button to highlight unlock the bootloader and then press the power button to confirm. This will reset your device and boot again into fast boot mode. Look at that! Flashing unlocked just showed up on the fast boot screen. That means the bootloader is now officially unlocked. Just press the power button one more time to reboot your phone. As your phone restarts, it'll do a factory reset. That's totally normal since unlocking wipes everything. Also, don't worry if you see a warning screen every time your phone starts up. That's totally normal for an unlocked bootloader. You land on the Android setup screen just like a brand new device. Now, let me fast forward everything to save your time. All right, once it's up and running, let's double check our work. Let me quickly enable the developer options from the settings. And yes, as you can see, the message says bootloader already unlocked. This confirms that your motor device is now fully unlocked. And that's it. That's how you can unlock the bootloader on any Motorola device. Super simple, right? If this tutorial helped you get your Motorola phone unlocked, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tech guides.